In this video, we are going to gather the logs on a linked clone Horizon agent pool. Firstly, we need to open the command prompt. Now we need to change the location, so I'm going to come out of where I am. And I'm going to change to program files. And then going to change to VMware. To VMware view. To the agent. I'm going to change to DCT and from DCT I can now actually run the command and the command to generate the logs is called support.bat so just by pressing enter this will generate the support bundle for the horizon agent now this is a way of doing it locally logged in to the machine as a particular user so in this instance I am logged into this machine as horizon user a it's important to note that if you need to gather the logs for an issue that a particular user is seeing, then only that user should log in and gather the logs. As you can see, for certain for access to certain areas, the user may not have permissions. So when seeing an issue, you may have to increase the permissions for that user or try to replicate the issue with the user that has the required permissions to gather a full and complete log bundle. Everything that is presented in the agent that is linked to the horizon agent is gathered in the log bundle. And this is why we can see firewall configuration and windows configuration information being gathered. We are now being prompted as to whether we wish to dump the processes for the horizon agent. Now, unless you are being directed by your technical support engineer to gather the dumps, it isn't advised to do so as this file can be exceptionally large. So for the purpose of this demo, we're going to select N and then hit enter. Now, as you can see, there's a message back saying that this is an incomplete support bundle and that we should run as a local administrator. And this is due to the messages we saw previously where the user in question, Horizon user A, doesn't have full permission to everything as they're not an administrator user. We're gonna press any key to complete the bundle. And we can see now on the desktop, there is a folder called VDM-SDCT. And if we open this folder, we can see that our pool name, so in this case our VM name is LC Pool 1 VDM SDCT, and this is the agent bundle. So this is the zip file that would be uploaded to your technical support engineer if and when requested. Thank you.